Good morning and welcome back. They're asking me to solve the following simultaneous equations by elimination. And simultaneous equations, which means they give us two equations with two unknowns, x and y in this case. Well, if I would only have one equation and two unknowns, I couldn't solve it anyway. So if I have two unknowns or two variables, yeah, how much is x, how much is y for the equation to be true, we need two equations uh, to solve that. Now, this really is a present if you get a question like this and guaranteed that you will get a question like this. It's always worth a lot of points as well, solving simultaneous equations. So let's make sure that we really prepare ourselves to answer a question like this properly. Yeah? Because you will get it, so let's get prepared. We have to use the elimination method. Yeah? So we have to solve the simultaneous equations using the elimination method. And I'm just gonna get rid of this sheet and I'll just be left with the question over here. Simultaneous equations, yeah? simultaneously at the same time. Yeah, so we have to solve both equations at the same time. And elimination, that means you want to yeah, eliminate something, you want to get rid of something. Yeah, and this method, you are trying to get rid of one of the variables. So then yeah, you have only one left, and then you have an equation with one variable which you then can solve. So again, the elimination method tries to get rid of either the x or the y. It doesn't really matter which one you do. And you do so by either subtracting or adding the two equations. Now I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do. 3x plus y equals 9, 5x minus y equals 7. First of all, I make sure that I check that the x terms are on top of each other the y terms and the constants, the numbers, are also nicely aligned. And in this case, that is already written like that, so I do not have to rearrange one of the equations. Yeah? But you've got to make sure that those x's are on top of each other, the y's, and then the numbers. Now, is there a variable which has the same coefficient in both equations? Yeah? So a 3x and a 5x, are their coefficients the same? Yeah, if I would plus them or minus them, would they become zero? Would they have been eliminated? No, they're not the same, three and five. Yeah? And here I have a positive y and a negative one y. Are their coefficients the same? Well, the sign is different, but they're both one anyway. So by plusing or minusing, I can somehow eliminate the y. And perhaps you're still a little bit confused, but if you look at me, at the remaining of this, uh, remainder of this example, I'm sure you'll understand. Okay, I'm gonna put a line there. Now I have to decide, do I have to plus or minus to get rid of the Y? And I always use my finger, and I'm 33 years old, and I still use my finger to decide if I have to plus or minus. Because I'll have Y, and let's say I do minus, because most students, elimination method, they say, yeah, that's minus. Yeah, because you have to get rid of something, so you have to subtract something. Now, if I would subtract, I would get 3x minus 5x, which is minus 2x, which is fine. y minus minus y. Now, be careful there. What is y minus minus y? So that becomes y plus y, which is 2y. So you didn't eliminate it. The y is not gone. It's still there. So by using my finger, I take care of y minus minus y, the y is still there. So I have to plus yeah, the elimination method, either by subtracting or by adding, you eliminate one of the variables. Let me check that again, just to be sure. I have y plus minus y. So one y plus minus one y, that is zero. So if I would add, I eliminate the y. So I'm adding both equations and 3x plus 5x equals 8x. So I'm going to write down 8x. I'm just going to check again y plus minus y. Now that is definitely zero. Equals 9 plus 7 and that is 16. 
So by adding my two equations, I've created an equation which only has one variable, x. So one equation, one variable I can solve. Yeah, because by dividing both sides by 8, uh, I'll just keep going on in green, divide that by 8, divide that by 8, yeah, then I'll say that x equals 16 divided by 8, 2. So I eliminated my y variable and then I was able to find out what x is, x is 2. Alright, I'm not finished yet because they're interested in the value of x and in the value of y. So I choose either one of the equations now. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, let's take the top one. It says 3x plus y equals 9. And now we have said well x is 2. So I can substitute that in the equation. So 3 times x becomes 3 times 2 plus y equals 9. And I can solve that equation equals 9. So y equals, subtract 6 on both sides, 3. I'll just fit that over here. It just fits. So my answer is, well, x is 2 and y is 3. That's the answer to this problem of solving simultaneous equations by using the elimination method. Yeah? So you're looking for a value for x and a value for y. Yeah? Now, it's always good to be 100% sure that you're uh, correct, so we can check our answers very simply. Let me take the top equation again. I'm going to substitute this information in the equation. So it's going to say 3 times x, just to check myself. Uh, this is my answer, but I want to check 3 times x, 3 times 2, plus y, plus 3, equals, they say, should equal 9. But let me see, that's 6 plus 3 equals 9, and indeed 9 equals 9. Yeah. So for that equation, uh, both values of x and y uh, it works, yeah, it's correct. But you always have to check both equations. So let's look at the other one. So 5 times x, 5 times 2, minus y, minus 3, and that has to be 7. 5 times 2 is 10, minus 3, and you already see that. 7 equals 7. Well, that is correct, 7 does equal 7. So that is also checked. Yeah? The left-hand side of the equation equals the right-hand side of the equation. So my solution to this problem, x equals 2, y equals 3. Now this was just one example. You need to have a look at a few and then try it yourself. So go to the next video now and I wish you all the best.